Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2017 Subaru Outback Wagon, we're going to be taking a look at the Thule Helium Pro 2 bike rack. Now this rack can hold up to a total of two bikes. However, if you need to carry an extra one, there's also a three bike version available as well. One of the biggest questions we get asked in regards to hitch mount of bike racks is if you're still going to be able to have full access to your hatch. Well, this one does fold down out of the way and allows us to do that. So if we move down here, lift up on the lever, swings down. It's gonna give us more than enough space to get anything that we might need in and out of the back of our Subaru. One of the really nice things about this rack is that it's made from aluminum. So one, we're not gonna to have to worry about any rust or corrosion issues. And two, it's going to be extremely lightweight. So it's gonna be really easy to handle and say, for example, if you need to take it out of your Subaru to put in another accessory, you're going to be able to grab it with ease, and you can even store it on the top shelf if you want to. So our bike's going to be held down in three spots. We're going to have two straps here along the top tube, and this strap down here is a anti-sway strap, so it helps eliminate that side-to-side -side movement. That way you don't have to worry about your bikes banging into each other. What's also really nice is the rack actually has an integrated lock, which pulls right out of the rack, loop it over your bikes, and secure it in here. That way, whenever you happen to pull over to maybe get a bite to eat or a cup of coffee on the way to the trail, you're not gonna have to worry about your bikes go missing whenever you get back to your car. Let's go ahead and pull the bike off so we can have a better look at the rack itself. It's really easy, you just push on these tabs, and push the straps up and over. Same thing for this one. Then we can just slide the bike off. Now, what I do like about this rack is the arms are relatively narrow, and so it's gonna be really easy to just grab it and pull it off. Unlike some of the other racks, where the arms are a little bit wider and you kinda of have to work that bike off. The cradles where your bike's frame is going to sit are adjustable. That way it'll help accommodate different types of frames. And it's gonna have a soft rubber material here. That way you don't have to worry about it scratching up your bike's finish. We'll have that same material on the bottom of the strap. Now I do recommend whenever we're not using the rack to put the straps back in place. That way we don't have to worry about losing it. Now the rack is going to extend the overall length of our Subaru and by exactly how much, if you measure from the hatch here to the edge of the rack, it's gonna be about 35 inches. So although that's not a ton of distance, it's definitely something to keep in mind whenever you're pulling into your garage or maybe even a tight parking spot. Now, if this does take up too much room, the arms do fold down to free up some space. Pull up on the lever, swing them down and that makes the rack much more compact. So in this position, it's only going to add about 22 inches. So I really don't see this giving you any issues when you do want to pull in your garage or that tight spot. Now what I like about this rack too is the fact that the hitch pin is integrated into it. So it's one less thing we're gonna to have to worry about keeping track of. It's also gonna have a knob here and when you tighten this down, it acts as a stabilization device and takes up all that play here in our connection point. That way when you're going down the road and hitting bumps, the rack is actually gonna move with the car and not be bouncing around back here making a bunch of noise. So overall, a really compact way to carry your bikes and in my opinion, it's gonna look pretty good on the back of the Subaru. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side to side action such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then, onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. And that'll finish up our look at of the Thule Helium Pro 2 bike rack on our 2017 Subaru Outback Wagon.